Hi everyone, Allison here for Black Cat Scraps. Thought I would uh, share my nails. And my philosophy is if I have ten nails, why should they all be painted the same? So I'm going to make a placemat for my daughters. This one is for Kaya. And they are very messy eaters, so this is a very needed item. So I've got um, strips of pattern paper in a rainbow. I wanted to make sure that all the shapes and patterns were different and array of colors. So I know I've got two greens in there, but whatever. And just trim off the excess around. And I'm putting it on tag board, and I believe it is 11 inches by 13. Right, these are Making Memories Foam Stamps Alphabet. I'm using some black and some hot pink and black and green. And I'm going to stamp out the alphabet. Very educational, my little Shuri's. Oh, oh, well look, I made a mistake, and here's how I'm going to fix it. Ta-da! And I keep going. Shuri knows her alphabet. So, encourage her to continue to know it, as well as Shakaya. So I, I love how that effect, it looks so cool. And there's the numbers. This is a really wide um, roll of tape. It's not quite like packaging tape. It's a little easier to use. Um, if you can't find some of this, which I'll have a link below and where I got it from, you can always use packaging tape. Just make sure you overlap um, at least an eighth of an inch. Alright, and then if you're using this kind of tape, fold your corners like this at an angle. That way um, it'll help prevent as much moisture from getting to your corners because that's normally going to be the weakest part of your placemat. And then smooth out the front, get as much of the air bubbles out as you can. Get a good um, adhesion there. Now I'm taking actual packaging tape and I'm just taking little squares and taping over the corners here because the parts that tapes that fold it over um, don't stick in those areas so I want to make sure it stays. So I'm going to glue down some strips of black paper and getting my excess glue so the paper doesn't warp into the All right, and then I'm going to stick them down. Now I have a sh piece of pattern paper, and I'm going to smooth it out. And now I'm ready to decorate it. So I've got these cute little foam hearts, and it's going to say Shakaya. And I already stamped, um, I'm stamping with Timber Brown. My ink's a little dried out. So I end up re-stamping it um, with Stays on Black. Alright, here is a pattern paper with apples on it. And I printed out some pictures from my computer. So Shikaya loves apples. And here's a picture of a banana. She loves, loves bananas a family Christmas photo. I should hope she, she loves her family. Her mommy and her big sister Shiori and her daddy. And everyone else. And she loves butterfly kisses. <laughs> right, so I've got a chipboard cat and I'm just peeling off the back so it's not as thick. She loves kitties. I'm going to use some craft glue to make sure it sticks for now. It's going to be glued down with tape, so it's alright. I'm going to do um, a ducky stamp. I have a collection of rubber duckies that have now become the girls' collection of rubber duckies and bath toys. 
So one of Kaya's favorite things is to beg her daddy for his Care Bear collection so he'll get it down and share his Care Bears. <laughs> because sharing is caring! So Kaya loves Care Bears. Here's some Care Bear stickers. Kind of wished they were not foam stickers or puffy. They kind of made it a little difficult with uh, putting the placement together, but she absolutely loves Care Bears and I have to put them there. Adding a couple knick-knack things. Love and uh, the sis says star. She loves Sesame Street and Elmo. Everybody loves Cookie Monster. And I love Grover. So I don't care. They need to learn to like him. So, subliminal messaging. I cut these letters out with my Cricut Expression. I did the shadow and the regular and then overlapped with two different colors. And she loves regular bears too, so I have to put that there. She loves fruit, vegetables, so I have some fruit rub-ons. If you let her, she will eat an entire watermelon. She loves apples. Her and her sister share an apple every day. And she loves taking showers and baths. When I was putting this placement um, collection together, I wanted to keep images that she understood along with the words. She loves hugs and kisses. Everybody loves hugs and kisses. But she loves them a lot. Going to make some heart labels for the ducks that she loves so much. I'm going to do um, faux dots this time instead of stitching. Let's stick those down. And to make the I love pop just a little bit, I'm going to add some silver glitter glue. Alright, and this is packaging tape again. I'm going around just the border and I'm leaving about a half of it to hang off the edge so that I can fold the edges over and then make the thingy angle just a little bit. And again, fold that edge over and then pull it in just a little bit so that way the flaps don't hang over. And then just pull it tight and do that on all four sides. And here's more of that large tape. Finishing off the lamination here. Spread it out nice and good. And I know I did the back side, but here's some more. Because um, I want to make sure that there's no way that any fluid is going to be able to get into here. So I'm making sure that there is a tape on tape seam. So I'm going to get my tape seamed nice and tight and then trim off my excess of tape, leaving about a half inch to a quarter inch. Thanks everyone for watching. I know this video was kind of long, but there was a lot of stuff going on. So if you want to see more detailed photos that aren't moving around, I'll have those posted on my blog as well as the type of tape I used. If you're interested to see what Shiori's placement looks like, I will have photos of hers posted on my blog as well. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, favorite, and share this video. And I hope this inspires you to maybe make a placement or two for your messy eaters. Have a great day and thanks for watching.